I actually feel like the reason why our bond is so strong is because for me, he's never a tennis player. Stubbornness is his middle name. <laughs> he just doesn't want to give up when he believes in something. Who would have thought Novak Djokovic, the man with a trophy case bursting at the seams, has been playing doubles in the game of love with one stealthy partner, Yelena Djokovic. But how in the world did Novak a titan under the global spotlight, keep the origin story behind his most precious win. So hush hush, you won't want to miss the big reveal at the end. Drop your theories below and let's see who's close to cracking the Novak code. But first, quiz time. Yelena was a former model, but what type? Is it A, bikini model, B, runway model, C, hand model, D, swimwear model? The correct answer will be revealed at the end of the video, so stay tuned. And hey, don't be shy, hit us up with your guesses in the comments. We'll reply to as many of them as we can. And as always, if this video serves up some tennis joy, body that like button and backhand a subscribe for more ace-worthy tennis content like this. Novak Djokovic is a famous tennis player known for his crazy skills. He has won 24 Grand Slam titles and 98 ATP titles. He has also made more than $240 million. But many people don't notice how much his wife, Yelena Djokovic, helps him succeed. Did you know that for their first date, Novak took Yelena to a restaurant and ordered steak tartare? But things didn't go according to plan. He said, I wanted to impress her, so I found this very good restaurant. But Yelena said, awkward moment, he wants to order for me, and it wasn't what I expected. Having ordered steak, Novak then called the waiter over and explained the steak was underdone. The waiter said, you ordered the steak tartare, it's always served raw. Novak later revealed whenever he and Yelena see a steak tartare on the menu, it always reminds them of their first date. Despite this little misadventure, their relationship continued to grow stronger. But who exactly is Yelena? And where is she from? Yelena, born Yelena Ristic on June 17, 1986, in Belgrade, Serbia, grew up with her parents, Miomir Mir and Vera Ristic, and an older sister, Maria. She went to a sports high school in Belgrade. Later, she studied business administration at Bocconi University in Milan. She also got a master's degree in luxury brand management from the International University of Monaco. Now she is a successful businesswoman and a caring wife and mother. Quick side note here, I hope you haven't forgotten about our trivia question. Make sure to keep watching, the answer will be revealed at the end. And hint, the answer is not C, hand model. Moving on, Novak Djokovic, born on May 22, 1987 in Belgrade, Serbia, is actually one year younger than Jelena. His parents are Sajan and Dijana Djokovic. He has Serbian and Croatian roots. Growing up, Novak was around tennis and cooking because his parents owned restaurants and a tennis academy. He started playing tennis at four and went professional at 13 at the Pilic Academy in Germany. After high school, he focused entirely on tennis, unlike Jelena who went to college. Novak and Yelena met in high school. Yelena loved reading and writing and was a great student. She even got scholarships for being the best student in elementary school. Novak said about Yelena, Yelena is the love of my life. We have been together for a few years and her honesty is what I love about her and what keeps us happy and in love. They started dating in 2005, but it was tough because they were in different countries. Yelena was studying in Milan and Novak was in Germany playing tennis. Later, Yelena worked in Monte Carlo and Novak was traveling for tennis. They almost broke up because they couldn't see each other much, but they stayed together and Novak proposed to Yelena in September 2013, Provence, France, in a way you'd never expect. He arranged for a helicopter to take her to the Couvent de Menim Hotel in Provence, where he proposed. What a day that must have been, huh? Their wedding took place on July 10, 2014, at the Amand Sveti Stefan Resort in Montenegro. Notably, Yelena was pregnant with their first child at the time of their wedding. The choice of the wedding venue and the timing reflect the personal and familial significance of this event in their lives. Before getting married, Yelena got pregnant with their first son. They announced it on April 4, 2014, and planned to marry. They had a beautiful wedding in July 2014 in Montenegro. Novak said about the wedding, seeing her for the first time in her wedding dress, smiling and walking towards me, she looked like an angel. Yelena, who was pregnant, felt very happy and blessed to have Novak in her life. Novak and Yelena have their own careers. Novak speaks German, Serbian, English and Italian. But did you know that Yelena speaks an impressive 17 languages? They are both truly successful and fulfilled in their fields. Despite their success, life is not always easy for them. 
In 2021, Yelena admitted that being in the public eye can be hard. She said, At first, the experience does not alarm you because it can bring you some difficulties. I try to resist all these expectations to always be myself and for Novak to be able to be himself. Novak understands this and supports her. He mentioned, She runs with the wolf. It can be very stressful to run with the wolf. I know that she doesn't enjoy it at all times. It's kind of living on the edge with the wolf. But I love her. She's my great support. Despite these challenges, Novak and Yelena found creative ways to spice things up. Yelena, in an interview, mentioned how they contrived and devised these plans how to meet, how to make our relationship work. This statement highlights the efforts they both put into maintaining their relationship, despite the physical distance and their individual career pursuits. Overall, Novak and Yelena's relationship is admired by many. They have managed to maintain a healthy and long-term relationship despite their busy careers and the challenges of being in the public eye. Their love and support for each other have been a significant part of their journey together. Now let's circle back to our trivia question. Yelena Djokovic was formerly what type of model? Well, here's the answer. Yelena Djokovic once explored a career in modeling, specifically as a swimwear model. Her key work in this field was in 2013 with Big Leaves, a UK-based online lingerie retailer. This job showed Yelena's ability to succeed in different areas. However, the details about how she started modeling, how long she modeled, and why she chose this career or how much she earned are not clear. Choosing to model, especially swimwear, can be for many reasons like liking fashion, wanting to be more known, or moving to other jobs. For Yelena, Modeling might have mixed personal and job reasons. She later did business and charity work, showing that modeling was just one part of her varied career. During her time in modeling, it is not known who else she worked with, especially at fig leaves. It's usual for models to work with different people, but these partnerships are not always known, especially if the modeling career was short. Modeling for Yelena was a step in her wide-ranging career, which includes business and humanitarian work. Her education and knowing many languages might have helped her in her modeling and other careers. And that, my friends, is game, set, and match for this episode of Glam Slam Tennis. Thanks for watching, and make sure to take a peek to your left for another intriguing video you're sure to love. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit on the notification bell so you never miss a moment of the action and what we have in store. Until next time, stay fabulous and ace those serves. Called me and he said, I don't see the purpose of me playing tennis unless you guys are here.